this. In fact, I'm regretting it right now, even though I just started recording, but I am going to try to push on and finish this area with Curse. And it's foolish. It's a foolish idea. I wholeheartedly acknowledge that, but I'm going to give it one go. At least one. Because I really don't want to... I was going to say break sequence. It's not sequence breaking in the usual sense. I just mean break the sequence that I wanted to go through this area in. So we're just going to, I'm going to try to stick to the plan. It'll probably not go very smoothly. But I, I'm hoping you won't mind if I try to finish the area with Curse. So our goal is the spiked dome that we were at. So yeah, I was able to make it through the Great Hollow with surprising. It surprisingly was not so difficult. In fact, I would say, well, I suppose it makes sense that it would be easier going up than going down. But yeah, that's, that's all I was going to say. Basically, big enemies, and I can't dodge roll, but hopefully they won't be able to catch up by the time we get to dry land. Okay. Thank you, dry land. What a strange substance is on the ground. I'm looking for moss clumps. I think I have them. Yeah, I do have them equipped, so it doesn't even matter, but... Um, we have 10 Estes, and unfortunately I don't remember when that happened. Here's some non-hostile enemies. It might have been the Everlasting Dragon. Uh, bonfire is probably the one that gave us 10 if I had to do so. Oh, they are just grotesque, and I honestly forgot about the noises that they made. Alright. Oh, wish me luck, please, because with Curse, I'm really not sure about my ability to do this. Uh, but here goes nothing. definitely has one of the grander of uh, boss intros. So I'm basically going to be trying to do this. That's the worst move that she has. That move can really sneak up on you because it has a very small wind-up animation. So I'm going to be trying to do this avoiding lava as well as dodging that move. And I have had good luck with Quaylag in my recent playthroughs, but I'm not so confident after that. Uh, one hit notwithstanding, we are doing pretty good. Was the explosion move. That move has an, the flame sword stab has an incredible reach. And I shouldn't have put so much distance between myself and her for this because now the lava is absolutely blocking me off. It's going to leap and then. Alright, but that lava will clear out, so that's good. I apologize about my. Uh, I'm not sure what I was going to apologize, but I can tell that my voice is a little, uh, maybe sounding a little aggressive, and I apologize about that. It's just entirely from the focusing on the boss fight.
That's exactly what I was afraid of, running into the lava like that. But we are doing well enough at the moment. Well enough. I don't want to jinx it just yet. Because I've really... I apologize for... I think I was going to apologize for putting myself at such a disadvantage for this fight. For attacks that I know I can't hit. That's a stab. Okay. That was a pretty good. That was a decent one. I definitely want to play it safe with the stabs. Has some excellent tracking on it, the stab from Quailag. Things got way too tense. Because the boss of the health and the fact that I have ten, oh jeez. And I was going to recommend... Let me just double check. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I was hoping to reverse my hollowing, or not reverse my hollowing, but I was hoping to kindle. So I could have 10 Estus again, but... I don't doubt that I could do it. And I'm sorry to do this now, and you've already seen the boss. I don't doubt that I could, but I don't want to waste it. any more of your time with that. So we're going to, instead of going back to fight Quelag, we're going to work on getting a purging stone. And I and I will immediately cut the recording when uh, when I reach something that you haven't seen yet or we haven't covered. So yeah, I apologize about this. I, uh, it's would have been great, but not feeling trying it again just because I was so close and then being even more disappointed when I die in the first attempt or something, or more disheartened. Oh, right. A bit of a, a funny thing by the developers here to make this, that wheel dog powered and showing that off got me toxic. So, I'm going to heal when I get to the top and then use it, because being cursed and toxic is not fun. There we are. Not so bad. Now, down... Down this way, there is a Firekeeper soul to be had, or down... Yeah, down this way. Or down another, yeah, down that way. We were getting shot at by Curse, but I am not going to go for it at this point. And I honestly might not go for it, go for it, but hopefully I'll remember at some point when I'm trying to upgrade my Estes flasks that uh, I'll remember that this is where a Firekeeper Soul is. Although I'm. I'm I'm sure I probably won't have a moment where I'm just like, I'm just going to get all the Firekeeper souls I can find, but either way, apologies for not showing that off, but it's more than I'm willing to risk at the moment while cursed. There's the parasite. So as a, a casual reminder, Curse message when we got cursed and respawned mentioned 
a healer in New Londo Ruins. Or, excuse me, not New Londo Ruins, just New Londo. Uh, we will not be going that route. Well, we're going to be going all the way back to, uh, there's the key to New Londo Ruins. Uh, we're going to be going all the way back to Oswald of Kareem in the Gargoyle, the Bell Gargoyle Boss Arena, which is why I have no problem ending the recording. Once we get to a more familiar area, but luckily it won't take us that long to get there. It is unfortunate, though, how close we were to killing Quaylag. Weapon at risk. I <laughs> definitely was not expecting that. Now you see our, our damage output is incredibly low. Which is... Oh, well, I... I was just going to run past that guy, and that is what I'm going to do. Because he will not chase us very far at the end of this path. And at the end of this path is the... Valley of Drakes. Now we can go down this way and explore the rest of the valley, but that's for a different time. We're picking up this large soul of a nameless soldier and then taking this gate right here. And we open that with the key to New Londo Ruins. And here we are. You can actually... Uh, it's a little difficult to see the detail through the depth of field effect, but you can see a large amount of the Londo Ruins, at least sort of guess at abstract notions of what the new Londo Ruins looks like, and once again, we are not heading there just yet. We're going to be taking an immediate left and going up all these stairs. And I assume this won't be up yet, yeah. and then we're going to pull the lever. Just like Kronk. Although this is the correct one, so I guess it's not. That was a really forced reference. That's okay, though. familiar tune plays and we find ourselves back at Firelink Shrine. So I was going to end the video or end the recording and then resume the video after I get the purging stone but it's really such a quick walk that I don't think it's that big a deal. So we're just going to go up through here and then I was not expecting that to be like that, or them to be here until after we defeated Quailag, so this is a shock to me, but let's go ahead and talk. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Oh, hello. Miracle, I presume? Yes. An unread mission? Regrettably, I cannot share that with you. But you are my pupil. Perhaps if you show your faith. <laughs> I completely forgot about this. Unfortunately, I'm not even really his pupil anymore. I've pledged myself to the Dragon Gods. I'm afraid that may be difficult, for our missions are sacred. It's unfortunate that I don't have enough souls. I could use an item. Actually, I think I will. Go ahead and use a soul item just to see what he says, because I don't remember doing this. Yeah, that probably only adds 200. Let's, get, let's use a big one. Probably like 5,000, 3,000. daughter of the good house of Haramon. 
Those young knights are her old schoolmates, but I'm not sure what to make of them. I'm afraid they may be a bad influence. Well, it would appear we missed our opportunity to get Petrus's story, but he seems a little bit talkative. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. Let's see what the two guards here have to say, and then also Rhea, Araya. I, I assume he's humming a song to himself, that's what I'm gonna guess. Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Time to grin. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare damage my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Not the kindest of individuals. You again. What business have you? Don't suppose we can help then? We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite a chore, but I'm stuck with her. I need her too. I can't very well abandon her now. Good old Nico, the presumably the humming man. Oh, it's you. I need to leave momentarily. Cataclysms aren't exactly my idea of a good time, but what can one do? I do hope we meet again, Rary and Knox. Rary and Knox, it sounded like you said. It's been a long time since I messed with the, uh... It's been quite a while since I messed with the dialogue of these characters, so it's cool to hear that man's axe was through my body. Does not look like we're gonna get much more out of that guy. So let's talk to Rhea before we move on and get uncursed and repair our stuff also. You're undead as well. I need no time to fret anymore. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. You must not let this curse overcome us. Did I not explain the urgency of our time? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should say not. Did I not explain the urgency of our time? Or are well, alright, I suppose I am just an uncouth looking man. So we also got a pretty big tell of uh, where they are journeying to. Regardless, and he even told me without me having to, to pay him th over 3k souls, Petras. Anyway, we learned that they are going to the catacombs. Which is, you guessed it, an area that we will be eventually venturing to ourselves. But not quite yet. So I'm glad that this trip wasn't entirely a uh, waste of time, that we got to see the, the dialogue from them. It probably would have been more beneficial to repair before I... Uh, says that as we're cursed, okay. Well, I 
Well, here's going to be this very, very satisfying consumable use. Look at all that health. Oh, I love it. Love seeing that. Whoops. Though I'd welcome any time is another line ingrained in my head thinking about this game. Now, I don't think there will be that many basilisks on their own immediately in the game. But just to be safe, I'm gonna buy another purging stone just so this doesn't happen again. If I was smarter than I am, I would uh, buy more than just one extra purging stone, but I don't want to waste the time consuming the soul item, even though I just did that, but it's fine. <laughs> We're moving on. And I think things will be okay from here on out. I'm hoping, at least. Andre.
or so I want to say, but I've been very wrong about the efficacy of summons in this playthrough so far, so we'll have to see. Let's take on Quelag with full health this time. Slightly hurt from poison, but I don't want to use a flask just yet. And no more elaborate cutscene. Oh, there's my bloodstain. Off to a good start. You'll see that uh, her health has definitely increased. Uh, even if Man Eater Melter doesn't do good damage, she'll serve as a great uh, distraction. And of course, now that I don't have half my health, my, um, I'm playing not very carefully at all. Yeah, she does do fine enough damage, more than I do in an attack anyway, which makes sense, because makes sense because she's a very, uh, obviously strength-focused character, or so one would assume. Again. And that's why that move sucks. And here I was thinking this would be my triumphant return where I, where I would just completely crush quite lag. No such luck. So we'll reverse our hollowing here and then revive and make her, oh, there's my leg <laughs> doing something weird. And then summon her again and be very, very careful this time. It's honestly probably my armor choice that is screwing me over on that because the description of the armor itself does say that at the cost of defense it has a higher resistance to bleeding and poison which is not a problem at all in the Quelag boss arena so I think I might actually switch to the Wanderer set when I get up to it and summon Maneater Mildred I'm definitely going to do that actually just to for a change of style, even though we were rocking the shirtless look for more videos than this, but that's fine. And then for a video or two, the shirtless with sack on head look. I don't know why I keep going to my inventory when I can just do this, and I skipped it. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see how much of the Wanderer said we can equip before we're medium rolling. Okay, good. Look at this. Look how stylish that is. I love it. One of these starting classes in Dark Souls 2 also starts with the Wanderer set. Which is uh, also the class. Obviously, the Wanderer is a dexterity. Uh, the Wanderer class in this game is a dexterity-focused build, and that's the same for Dark Souls 2, but the Wanderer in Dark Souls 2 also is, serves a function of the, uh, to showcase the uh, dual-wield mechanic of that game. Okie dokie. Hello, Quaylag, nice to see you again. so good about it. There it 
this again. That could have been disastrous. Once again, dodging into Quelag for the stab is good, even though I've been, on my previous attempts, I've been playing it pretty safe by just um, dodging back as far as I can. bone uh, with that our first primary goal of the game has now been completely achieved we've rung not one but two bells of awakening and that stirred that giant to pull on the chain and really un unlock the gate that a uh, Siegmeier of Katarina was hanging out in front of saying still closed still closed so it would appear that that is our next big goal and we will hopefully at least start to work towards getting back there in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Me defeat Quailag, or excuse me, not me. Uh, Maneater Mildred defeat Quailag. And I will see you up next for the 10th video of Dark Souls. I had, to, I had to think about it for a second. Okay, bye.